trouble, you best beware. And though deep down, I know I might be headed for teardrops. Now that you got me started, I just can't stop. Good morning from a small town called Mobile in Cebu. You may remember this town from our last video where we went cannoneering. We just love this area so much that we decided to extend our stay for another couple days. And yesterday we already did something super exciting. We went scuba diving because Mobile is actually a very famous diving area in the Philippines. So we finally put our scuba diving license to good use. We'll show you what we saw. I just bought a new way Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it I never tell her but I put it in the music but Franklin here will be a dive master And also Alex And how many sardines we will we see today? Uh, one million <laughs> More than one million It's like seven to eight uh, Wow Our first dive site is Pescador Island you can see what it looks like from up here. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Always think of you when spring comes. Like it's something in the air at that time. Don't know why. Always dream of you when spring comes. It's like the heat on my skin takes me by. Pretty incredible, right? But today we're gonna go on another adventure. We will be going to Osmina Peak, which is the highest peak on Cebu Island. We'll show you everything that we see and the local people that we're going to meet along the way. And speaking of local people, the staff at the place we're staying now is super amazing. So we are staying at Pawikan Boutique Hotel and the staff really is super friendly. They made us a lovely breakfast this morning. It is a small boutique hotel, so currently they only have three rooms available. They are building another six rooms and also still building a swimming pool, but we really enjoyed our room. It is a nice, spacious room with a very comfortable bed. It kind of has a Greek theme to it with the white and the blue, and the bathroom is one of the best ones we have had in all of our stay in the Philippines so far. So we're going to finish our breakfast and we'll get going to Osminia Peak. Make sure to stay in the same area that we are staying, which is called Panaksama Beach. It is like a small town with a main street with lots of hotels and restaurants, hostels. It is not only the most convenient location to stay in, but it's also the most lively place in this area. So we just quickly stop here because I have 5G connection. So we're gonna download the area map in case we do lose connection when we head out there. So we heard from many people that it can be a bit confusing to get to Osmina Peak because Google Map will give you the wrong directions. So we consulted our good friends Will and Jose who also has a YouTube channel and they've been in Cebu for the last couple months. So they made it to Osmina Peak and they told us to put two separate locations when we're trying to get up there. So first we're gonna go to Hoven's Collection which is on the main road and then when we get there we will put Osmina Peak location so it will bring us directly to the peak. But we're together that's our game. Round and round and round we go. Osmina Peak. Yes. Yeah. Very far from here. 
Yeah. yeah. Careful, lads. Uh, maybe one hour. One yeah. hour. Yeah. From here to there. Uh, one hour. And the road is curvy. Yeah. yeah curvy. And it's a motorbike, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. We're good. We'll yeah. catch yeah. well, well. yeah. yeah. okay, okay, you all, boy. Okay. Careful. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. Careful. Yeah. Okay. See you, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Careful, lads. Huh? Yeah. yeah. So we thought the people in the city were already super friendly, but once we got to the countryside areas of the Philippines, people are crazy amazing. Like they're so so friendly. Down the bottom in the home. There's no sane ways, there's no explanations. I've got things I tend to moan. We keep driving past these different towns and they have their bake shops. So finally we decided we just gotta stop and buy some bread to try because it looks really, really good. So many options. Look at all these different shapes. They have pine cones. They have these kind of like star looking bread. Oh, this one has like uh, stuffing inside there. Is there anything inside here? There is uh, cheese. cheese. Cheese inside. How about oh. these ones? Uh, plain. I'm curious what these are. Let's get one of this too. You sure? Yeah. Looks heavy though. We'll split it. We'll try it. I want to try everything. It looks so different. Floor is in her happy place. <laughs> uh, one more. You can, can you pick something for us? You can surprise us. Anything. What? Your favorite. Egg bread. There's uh, egg bread there. Okay. One, one. one. Thank you. Behind the store? Yeah. She says she has egg bread. That means it's good. If She has to go to the back and get it for us. Oh, this one's hot. Um, okay. Wow. Oh, yeah. How much is it? 17. 17. 17 pesos. I think it's 17. 17 is impossible. 17? 17 pesos. 17 or 70? 17. 17. 17 pesos. Oh my goodness. Give her 20. You make everything here? Wow, the bakery is just in the back. They make everything here. She said we can check out the bag. Yeah, I want to see. Uh... Are you the bread master? <laughs> <laughs> you used to work in the bakery. Yeah, I remember waking up at like 7 o'clock and set up the bakery. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> what is that one? Egg bread. Egg bread. That's so cool. They let us check out the bakery in the back. It's such a small space, but they were pumping out so much bread. So this place is called Jerd's Bake Shop, and there are tons of like other bakeries around here that are making their own bread in the back. So when you come to Mobile, make sure to stop at a bake shop and try some local bread. Don't eat them all. We need to save some for the cheek. I'll just have this one. Okay. Mm. Is there anything inside? Egg. Oh. It's a little like breakfast roll. It's so soft. <laughs> okay, we need to get going. Mm. Are you waiting for uh, to get some egg bread? <laughs> <laughs> you want some egg bread? <laughs> Bye. 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 The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through Okay I think I take a little break It's raining pretty hard Beating path and I keep, keep on pushing Hello. Hello. Welcome to the Philippines. Woo! Yeah, our room is in the waterfalls. Ah. In the waterfall. Yes. Drive safe. Drive safe. Bye -bye. See ya. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Yeah. It's a bit wet too, so I think we have to be 
Now I know why those guys had to be careful. Later, we finally made it to the first sign that says Osminia Peak. So we still have two minutes until we get to the trailhead, which should be the start of the hike to go up to the peak. There were times during our drive where we weren't sure if we were on the right path because a lot of the road in the beginning was unpaved. There was a lot of construction work going on, but you just got to follow the map and it really was a good thing that we downloaded the full area map and if you aren't sure at any point there are so many locals that you can ask because we drove through quite a few uh, villages that are up in the mountain you cannot go up higher 100 <laughs> percent How much for parking? <laughs> it's up to you, sir. It's only a donation. Oh, okay. okay. And how long is the hike? Uh, 15 to 20 minutes, sir. Easy? 1.2 kilometers. Easy hike? Yeah. Hello, what's your name? Clea. Clea. How about your name? Chilo Vargas. Chilo. Vargas. Vargas. <laughs> Hello. We can leave our helmets here. Lovely lady will take care of our stuff. So there's no parking fee, but they asked for a donation, so I gave her 70 pesos. There is a little tourism center over here, so we can use the washroom before we start. Good which idea. Is perfect because it was so easy for you if you need to pay, but it's so hard for me. <laughs> Actually, there is a entrance fee that you have to pay. It's 50 peso per person. And you also need a mandatory guide. And they ask for a minimum donation of 100 pesos. This is quite tricky. So make sure you wear sneakers or something. Yeah. Don't wear flip-flops. That guy is the way ahead of us. <laughs> we need to hurry up. <laughs> How many times have you done this today? Two. Two times? Two times. <laughs> you still enjoying it? Yes. <laughs> on the trail to go up so if you need something to drink you can buy it from here and I think I need something to drink <laughs> it's so hot <laughs> I'm gonna buy something here do you want water? do you want any water? no water oh okay <laughs> thank you thank you are these just boiled eggs or balut? Oh. just raw, raw eggs. eggs raw eggs right I think our guide walks this trail enough that she's not out of breath <laughs> we're almost there we're just right there. You can see where the peak is from here. Can some water, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the sun came out all of a sudden and it just got so hot. But I'm not complaining because when we were driving here, it was so beautiful. Huh? It was pleasant. I was gonna say, when we were driving here, it looked like it was going to rain. Oh. So I'm glad it's not raining right now. <laughs> hey, darling. I tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to Hello. Hello. We here? We're here. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open 
We would love to stay here to watch the sunset because I think it would be an epic view. But we don't want to drive back in the dark. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's too dangerous, I think. So we're probably going to head back now. This is our last day in Cebu. So thank you for coming along with us on this last adventure. And as always, thank you for watching. And have a <laughs> wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye. Enjoy the sunset, guys. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Superman! <laughs> Look sexy! Yeah. It's very handsome boy! Yeah. Yeah. Who's, who's handsome? Who's more handsome? Yeah, yeah. me, me. Yeah. <laughs> it's F4! If you know, you know.